want to be blind and blind. That's my actual problem. And it's back to your seat, basically. It's also what I thought was my home seat. My name's Alex, originally named Gerard. So my name's Cole, then I am a transgender male. Uh, my mom is Indian, dad is from Peru, South America and India. Oh gee, I don't know what to say. I've got three kids, but I'm separated right now. It's been like a 16 year long saga. I ended up living with me and my three girls. I wasn't managing too well. I love being around my family, my first cousins, but we left when I was nine to come to Australia. I have my youngest every every weekend. So yeah, it's, it's worked out all right, but that's where my fur babies have come in to fill that void. Well, I was pretty much born in the Philippines. My birth mum couldn't handle enough kids, so I was put up for adoption and yeah, only a couple months later I was adopted. I think um, being around my family and friends, I felt the need to uphold the person who I thought that I was because people had expectations of me. Because every day you, you get up being something else. Like, it, it all depends on like whom I'm hanging out with, something like that. I guess that sense of belonging comes and goes depending on situations. I guess the main ones would be just hanging out with friends. So that, yeah. You know your home. Yeah, exactly. And coming here sort of freed me from that, you know, and I was able to become who I was supposed to be, not who other people were telling me to be. But then I also find a connection within music. I'm able to vent and talk to music like it's my own sort of epiphany, my own Bible that I relate to in my life. And then, yeah, um, I can relate. Oh, this is just a whole different perspective in my life because I don't know the difference between trans and transgender and um, can I say gay people? When I was young, I gotta say, like I got a good bunch of friends. And as I grow older, it feels like, you know, my circle has started shrinking. I always wonder where did they all go? You know how people don't, you know, there's people that come into your life for a certain amount of time and some people stay and some people don't. It's kind of like that. This gentleman here is, is, is pretty much on a parallel with me because he's, he's another example of how creativity has a symbiosis with pain a lot of the time. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely relate. Uh, what Teresa said, like, actually almost made me cry <laughs> because it's, it is something that is people don't understand and it's it's a big thing it's a huge thing he's me when i'm older you know <laughs> pretty much in the i'll last take show. that as a compliment <laughs> like you yeah like he knows well obviously through experience and i'm only 20 like i feel like i'm just starting off to get to know myself and mm -hmm. i haven't seen her yet so i can only imagine i can picture her like a 36 year old she got like a mom of three plus all the dogs and cats oh it's just cats or dogs both all right so right <laughs> i think he's young like he's younger than me um it sounds like he's had quite a different life than what i would ever have heard before i'm glad he's here experiencing australia because we have a good country <laughs> so nerve-wracking. <laughs> I guess it's, you know, it's all a bit strange now, like, I think. Hey, uh, How you doing? Nice, nice to meet you. Nice you. You're one tough cookie. <sighs> so are you. Okay. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm Michelle. Okay. Colin. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh. You're straight in there. I, I never put a mental picture in my head of what that, like, actual would look like. It's just more of a, a sculpture of uh, different aspects, you know? You paint yeah. a portrait instead of having expectations. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I didn't really form a picture of you in my head, to be honest. Yeah, I was just answering the questions too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw the ad and I thought it looked like a bit of an adventure. I saw it as a good opportunity to kind of spread a little bit of awareness. Oh, I just wanted the money, eh? And plus, I wanted to do something different. Uh, I just came across it while looking on Gumtree. There's something you don't see every day. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but no one told me much. I always wanted to face a camera. I've never seen these many cameras in my whole life altogether. 